Welcome again to another tutorial. Don't forget to check out my channel for more LumaFusion content. So let's begin. I'm using Procreate to make my overlay, but any drawing app can be used as long as it has layers. Open the app, set the background to white and add a new layer. We're going to create two templates, one for a transition effect, the other for a text reveal. Change the brush color to bright green, select the grunge brush type within textures and set the size to around 80%. Start screen recording on your iPad from the control center. If you don't have it as an option it can be added by going into your iPad settings, selecting control center and adding it from the list. Draw across the screen in a few strokes leaving the edges free. Keep recording the final image for a little while longer as we don't want the transition to end instantly. For the text reveal version select add text from the tool menu. Enter the text, resize it and place it in the center of the screen. Change the color to white to match the background. Select the drawing layer below the text, change the brush color back to green. Start screen recording again then swipe across the screen revealing the text behind. Don't forget to keep recording a little while longer again. Next, open LumaFusion and start a new project. Add a video or photograph you're going to use the effect with. I'm using something my daughter's drawn, check out her channel, I'll leave the link below. Enter the edit screen, resize if needed and add Gaussian 80 blur from the color and effects section. Back in the timeline view, add the screen recording you made earlier. Make a cut when the drawing starts and another at the end once it's finished. Delete the other parts of the video and reposition it over the main clip. Enter the edit screen for the screen recording, scroll to the end of the clip so the final effect can be seen and then resize the clip to fill the screen. In the color and effects tab add a chroma key. Using the color picker, change the key color to white like the background. Back in the main view export the video ready for the final step. Delete or hide the clip from the second timeline. Enter the edit screen for the main timeline clip and remove the Gaussian blur. Add the newly exported clip to the timeline above your main clip. Entering the edit screen for the newly added clip, add a chroma key with a green key color. The effect is now complete and ready to be exported. All the effects are created in the same way. For the black reveal versions just toggle the reverse key switch during the initial or secondary stage of the process. That's it for today, hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Leave me a comment if you'd like some default templates creating for download. Stay safe.